Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlogoween. Um, I honestly don't know what part this is. I think it's part eight, <laughs> eight or nine. I skipped yesterday because we had an idea. We were going to make butter beer on camera. We went to the store and got all the ingredients and we couldn't find butterscotch, like most important ingredient. We searched three different stores, couldn't find butterscotch, like Sunday topping. It's like if they don't sell it anymore or something, I have no idea. So that was a bust. So I didn't film anything all day because we were doing that and then it fell through. So tonight it's Wednesday. I'm a hot mess express. I have no makeup on. I'm in the middle of cooking dinner. My hair is wet. Um, I'm cooking pork chops and potatoes and vegetables. Uh, Gary is at guitar practice with Jaden. Um, and I don't really know what tonight holds. I know we're going to open Harry Potter mystery book. Um, we're gonna try to make butter beer with a different ingredient. Ooh, I don't think it's gonna work at all, actually, but we're still gonna do it. And if it's a disaster, it's a disaster. It'll be funny. Okay, so you only need four ingredients for butter beer. And the fourth ingredient is very important. And I told you, that we can't find it anywhere. So Gary got butterscotch baking chips. These are not gonna work. Because the second, I'm well, I'm gonna melt them. And the second I put this in cold soda, it's gonna harden. So, but that's all we can do right now. So we're gonna try it. But this is it. So it's cream soda, whipped cream, butterscotch, Sunday topping, but unfortunately that's not in stores right now. So we got these chips and butter extract. This just looks gross, honestly, but we're doing it. First step, let's melt these butterscotch oh, it chips. Butter beer. Well, it's butterscotch. It smells really good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The top of the butter beer isn't just whipped cream. Like there's something else to it and this is like supposed to be it says a universal copycat this is not a universal copycat they don't just use whipped cream on the top it's like special it's not just whipped cream i don't get it i already know this isn't gonna work i honestly don't even know why i'm doing it at this point um but it'll be fun either way i suppose okay first up one tablespoon of butter beer in the cup. Good. One teaspoon of butter extract. Okay. And now we're gonna whisk it. And it's gonna look chunky because I know that butter beer or that uh, butterscotch chip is just not gonna work. Hey, it kind of looks good, other than the weird looks like beer. flakes. Ew, it does. For the final touch, whip cream. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, that actually looks kind of cute. Okay, Callie, go get a straw. We're gonna try this bad boy. Okay, Callie, are you ready? Yeah. Let's try this. It's, it's like spilling. Honestly, I wouldn't put it all the way at the bottom because it's so chunky. What? This tastes like medicine. It tastes like medicine? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Try it again. Oh, it's and, so chunky. And it's warm. <laughs> this is not my favorite, guys. <laughs> okay, let me try it. <laughs> what? Uh, what is this recipe? I have no idea what this is. This literally tastes like medicine. Don't make this. <laughs> don't, don't make this. This is the worst thing I ever put in my mouth. Now remember, we don't have the real butterscotch. Mm. This was the baking chips. Yeah. So that probably has a lot to do with it. But I cannot see how this would ever taste good, even with the right ingredients. 
it's, it's not good. I'll just take the whipped cream. Exactly. Oh no. <laughs> we'll just have to get the real butter beer in two weeks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Okay. Callie, um, what number are we on for today? our Dark Arts book? Today, we are on number seven. And eight, because we skipped, or we didn't do this in the last two days. So we you're going to do seven. We didn't do this yesterday? Uh-uh. Oh. And then Cohen's going to do eight. Okay. Whatever you say. So, ooh, Voldemort. Ooh, Voldemort. <laughs> What is it? Pumpkin decorations. What? Oh, so so basically what these are is that when you decorate a pumpkin, you can literally just stick these on. No, they're stencils, so you you can cut it out. Yeah, like that. That's what I mean. That's like what I'm talking about. That's so cool. We have to go get pumpkins right now. For real. <laughs> Let me see this one. It's a snake. <gasps> Oh my word. These are so cool. Okay, that's awesome. We're totally doing that. Duh. Cohen is opening number eight. Cohen, do it to it, bro. Draw this. I swear, Cohen gets the dumbest ones every time. What is it? <laughs> so Cohen got a draw this game. So you make two teams and you draw these things on the back of the card and the other team has to guess what you're drawing. I guess that's kind of fun. Again, nothing special. I just thought this book would be more like socks and pins and like little things like you can keep and have fun with. And But these are all just like goofy games and goofiness <laughs> goofy games and goofiness yeah i don't even know what day we're on because i missed a few halloween vlogs but we are here at burlington coat factory because gary is going to wisconsin in like a few more days so he needs to go find a coat because we just looked at the weather it's gonna be a high of 40 and a low of like 20. And we do not have proper clothes like that. This is Florida. We wear like hoodies in the winter. So we definitely need to go get him some proper clothes. Just found this $90 Aeropostale jacket for $19. Oh, I love it. But Gary's oh, not too that's sure cool. because he thinks it looks it like a puffer jacket, which it is. Can you look at me? That looks so cool. I like it a lot. Do you want to look in the mirror? No, it's cool. There's a mirror behind me. It's cool. It makes me look puffy. <laughs> that is so cool. I actually think I like this blue better than this black one. That's the winner. Yeah, I really like I like that, that one better than this one. It's just the same thing but in black and it has different buttons. Gary says this is Thanksgiving in a bowl. Smell it. it smells like leaves. It smells like Thanksgiving food. <laughs> It doesn't. It's sweet. How does that smell like Thanksgiving food? It smells sweet. It smells like Thanksgiving dessert. <laughs> yeah. It smells so good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, it smells like cologne. I like it. Mm. It does not smell like cologne. Oh, That's and it's so pretty. It matches song. our house. It sucks. <laughs> Kelly, look. Desk chairs. Let's go spin around in them. You guys are nerds. You guys are dorks. Wait, what's that from? Um, it's from something. What is that from? I don't know. What are you talking about? It's kind of scary, all if I'm being honest. But wait, I feel like I need to get these for my sister. Sister, do you have these? <laughs> I feel like you need them. All right, we're gonna continue shopping a little bit. Gary needs like a nice coat like a professional work coat so that's what we're trying to find now but we stopped to get starbucks and they have been making our oat milk shaken brown sugar espressos terrible lately i haven't had a good one in like a month so gary just went in and, and he's fixing it because it just tastes like pure espresso and i can't drink coffee like that i need oat milk 
it's just frustrating when you get a six dollar coffee and it doesn't taste right so we are definitely going to fix it any luck mm -hmm. yeah good looks much better now we're back home i figured i'd show you what we got we were shopping for a while because uh, we kept forgetting things and having to go back out to the store so the last thing you saw was us at burlington um we ended up getting these holiday cupcake cups because i couldn't pass them up even though like i'm a big believer in not uh you know letting one holiday finish before we celebrate the next i know that um, a lot of people like to start decorating early and things i just can't stand that but um but i just thought those were cute and i really liked them so i got them i ended up getting this adorable yellow candle because i feel like it matches my new dining set with the yellow in the rug um it smells really good I'm sorry for all the noise in the background. Um, the kids and Gary are wrestling. Gary ended up getting this coat that um, you saw him try on. I think it's gonna be warm enough for him. Um, and it's really nice. And hopefully he can wear it again sometime, not here. Um, but maybe if we go on vacation somewhere cold. This plain long sleeve black t-shirt to go under it. Then we ran to Walmart just to get a spooky carving kit. And I found these super cutie drinks at Aldi. I went to Aldi because they have Halloween wines every season. Um, this season I didn't love the wine that they had for Halloween. So I saw these. I think they're more like Christmas because they're cranberry flavor. But because there's like a spooky little guy on it, I was like, these can be Halloween. Um, they're Wicked Grove, um, hard ciders, cranberries. I think they're cute. I like the little creepy cranberry. He's cute um, for our Halloween party. I think those are cute. Gary and I got these sours just for us to drink because Gary probably won't have any, but I love sours. Um, and these were cute. They're matte, they're green. That's my vibe, so I had to get them. And then over at Old Navy, I got this green bodysuit. I have this exact bodysuit in beige, and I love it. Um, so I got it in green. It's 50% off. I got this beige sweater, which I think is really cute. I thought this was 40% off, but it wasn't. It was full price. Let's try it on, shall we? Not that I will wear it often, but... oh. <laughs> um, oh yeah, it feels really good. It's cute. It's like a jean. Tuck in the front a little. Oh yeah, this is cute. I really, really like it. I also got this plain collared t-shirt. It's been at Old Navy forever. And right now it was only $8. So I got it. thought it was cute. We got pumpkins. So we can do some pumpkin carving. Ooh. Who doesn't love a little Chipotle for dinner? Chipotle and scary movies. Oh yeah. Watching a little Happy Death Day. This sour beer is incredible. Mmm. It's so yummy. These are from Wisconsin. That's where Gary's going in a few days. So that's gonna be it for Vlogoween part eight, nine, and 10. I definitely wouldn't recommend trying that butter beer. But if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you real soon.